Hey yo, what is up my beloved Hashtag Champions fam, it's the bad guy, Zeke410, back with a brand new WWE Champions video, and I'm finally taking part in the Forgotten Gem series for WWE Champions, and what better way to start this series off than with none other than my man, Edge. Attitude Era Acrobat The Brood. We are starting off here with some four-star gold gameplay. Let's go ahead and check out the moveset. We got the big boot that's going to be dealing 13.7k damage and making random gems into multiplied gems with the strength of two. We also have the winning edge dealing 22.8k damage and making 10 random yellows into blue gems. And finally, we have the spear on here. What's up, Anna? We're going to be dealing 14.2K damage and being able to choose seven gems to make into blue gems. Now, the trainer build here is going to be quite simple. We have Seth NXT generating more blues. We also have Bray Wyatt Striker on here for that black MP charge. So we're going to go ahead and get started right here by taking care of that. Now, we're going to go ahead and get right to business by first hitting this big boot. This big boot's going to drop down. We're going to get that times two with the multiply gems. But then we're not going to stop there, y'all. We're going to hit this spear. We're going to unload that as well. And by doing this, we are basically going to be able to lock down some Zawal Cardos. Yes, some Zawal Cardos that are going to be necessary. We're going to take down the blue here so we can get rid of that purple so he doesn't get that skip turn off. And we are going to see what happens with the board. So we're going to drop this down here. He's going to get an easy kick out off of that. As long as we can evade that skip turn move, we are going to be okay for a while. And just got to load up the black once again. And we should be rock steady with it. Definitely going to be rock steady. Now, this obviously is not a cycling build, as you can tell. But we are still going to be able to get some things done here. So we're going to look around the board once more. We're going to get our green, uh, green off next turn. That's for certain. There's no worrying about that. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. But the question is, what do we do here? Because our black... He's got the silence gems down, so in other words, dealing damage, but we are not going to get that MP charge, and I do not want to get that skip turn off, because y'all know what happens when Zombie Austin comes to play. So, he's going to drop it down, he's still going to end up getting that skip, that skip turn move off, and that's absolutely fine, but we're going to go ahead and hit the winning edge here, we're going to go ahead and get some blues down, we're going to try to see what happens with the board. So we're going to drop down some more. Now, that skip turn is going to activate, but we're going to get our black set up, and we're going to be able to keep rocking and rolling. So we got a little bit more damage down here. We got that done. Now, another way to run this guy, obviously, <laughs> and I shake my damn head, girl. <laughs> nothing wrong with having the faction fam stop through for sure. There's nothing wrong with that at all. We're going to see what Zombie Austin does here. He's got the class advantage over us, but we're going to keep on rocking and rolling because the plus side is by the time that he's done doing everything, he's going to basically enable us to put in that work so we're still above we're still above when it comes to health so we don't got really nothing to worry about we're going to see what this uh, dropping this loot gem does we're going to take this yellow and kick out and now everything's going to be rock steady and heavy and we may be able to put this dude to sleep if you know what i'm saying edge is definitely edge the brood is definitely a guy that many people um look over but he's also a guy that many people also seem to get multitudes of shards on so that's how i'm looking at it this is a guy that a lot of people have and you know maybe you end up deciding hey i just might go ahead and take this guy up build up my roster a little more and see what happens because outside of using seth nxt here for this build we could easily go on with matt hardy modern era showboat so we could get that multiplied gem strength up but this is a solid build for him, especially if you take him up to four star. This is four star gold gameplay. And we were able to walk away with a W over Zombie Austin, one of the best champions in the game, hands down. We don't have no perks involved. We only had trainers on him in Seth NXT as well as Bray Wyatt for Black MP. We didn't even have a strap on him. And he was able to take out a champion who has the class 
advantage over him and is said to be one of the greatest champions in the entire game so that's something to truly consider here now we're going to run one more match and this time we are going to equip matt on here and then we're going to finish up be right back all right y'all we're here for the final match this time it's going to be edge the brood against big sexy kevin nash formerly known as Big Daddy Cool Diesel. So this is what we're going to do here. We got our green right out of the gate. Kevin Nash is a gnarly, gnarly monster. Getting a mad, huge buff when it came to the powerhouse class. Getting things put in, uh, put in the order. But what we're going to do here is we're going to drop that loot box. We're going to load up our moves here. And we're going to get into action. Now this time around... It, uh, this time around here, we have Matt Hardy on here to boost those multiply gems. Now, as you can tell, it's going to be a little bit different here because this big boot is going to be a multiply gem strength of four. So he isn't like Slick Rick with getting that times five. He isn't like Hulk Hogan with getting that times seven, but we're still going to be able to get damage done. So what we're going to do here is we got a lot, a lot, a lot of the blues and yellows down on the board here so we're going to hit this big boot we're going to get these down and get these in full effect right here and then we're going to hit the winning edge to do that 22k damage so we're definitely going to do that get a couple connects here we're going to see what happens and there's going to be some things to play with and now granted we're losing out on the amount of gems we get to choose since seth nxt isn't on here so obviously if you really want to go for our overload and go for your zawal cardo matches you definitely would want to to have Seth NXT on here so you can get that increased boost of gem strength. So that's something key to remember. Now we're going to put a blue right there so it drops down and gets that red connect with that times four multiplier. And then we're also going to put these here. So we're going to continue to see what happens and we're going to lock and load on some damage and see what happens with the board. So we are able to deal with a uh, deal some light damage. Obviously a powerhouse, he's going to kick out of this. He isn't going to have no issue with this. This is going to be a little bit Bit longer when it comes to getting the moves off but we're going to be able to load up that black also that's a cool thing here that's going to be critical so we're going to get that black now one thing that's key to also realize is this with that double black with the random uh, multiply gems being placed down on the board as well as the, the black choose move to make them in the blue you could easily put the educator submission on here to get some more multiply gems down on the board if need be now we're going to get rid of that red right there because we already knew what the broski was going to try to do he was going to try to destroy that and get one over on us so we're going to keep on playing around with the board obviously this isn't a build that doesn't that does not cycle that it is what it is but at the same time edge is hanging in there he's doing what he has to do so we're going to see what happens he's going to get these blast gems down on the board we got that black four row break so it's not difficult to see what he's going to do here all right, so dealing some mad damage here. Now, this is obviously just a gameplay video to show you the possibilities of what you could do with the roster. We got a W over Zombie Austin. You know, that's cool. With that's, that's a blessing within itself, you know? So we're not going to take anything away from it, but what we are going to do here is going to try to go for the kill, and we're going to try to get, uh, get the W with this next round, this next rotation of moves. So more damage being done, critical damage being done here. Now, we got a lot of blues and yellows here. We can see what's going to happen. We can see what could possibly be. So, first and foremost, we're going to get the yellows down on the board. We're going to put those down. We're going to go ahead and switch it up. We're going to switch the rotation up here. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead. We're going to get our multiply gems down on the board. And you can obviously see I want to get that Zawal Cardo out of the way. Definitely want to get that out of the way. And there's a couple of ways we can go about this. So we've got a big wild card down bottom. We can obviously fill these three spots. We could also put something right here the, with this green, this loot box right here. We can obviously do something to take care of that also. So there's a multitude of ways to put this guy away. So what are we going to do here? Well... Hmm, what are we going to do? I think what the best thing to do here would possibly be dropping this right here 
and see what the board gives us and what it allows. We're going to do some more damage. We're loading up. We're dropping it. And he's done. He's done. A little longer than the others. But granted, like I said, you can run him with Seth NXT. And that blue gen the blue generation is going to help you spam. And with those multiplied gems, you're going to have more opportunities to get some more wild cards down with the amplified blue gem damage. And on top of that, you can also easily run the double black with the blue Sub submission to get even more multiply gems of strength down on the board to help you with dealing some major damage but that is my four star goal forgotten gem champions gameplay video on none other than my favorite one of my favorite wrestlers of all time edge attitude era acrobat the brood let me know in the comments below what other four star gold champion gameplay you would like to see and i'll do the best i can but i wanted to start it off with a champion that hasn't been covered by the other broskies yet and that was none other than my man edge so we got it we had to get it in that contract debacle is still up in the air whether or not we're going to be able to utilize him in future gameplay and content for wwe champions but i'm glad that i got to share this with all of you leave a like and if you're new or you've been around for a while and you just haven't done it yet do yourselves a favor by dropping a people's elbow on that subscribe button as well as hitting a razor's edge on the bell icon to receive all future notifications from this channel mad love to every single one of you and my beloved hashtag champions fam good pulling good feuding good blitzing good farming it's definitely a good time to be a champion mad love to my girl anna for stopping through showing some discord love shout out to the aftermath and stay tuned until next time good feuding this weekend y'all boxing bonanza about to be live is live get it in and get hulk hogan brother Edge's former tag team partner, baby. Peace.